Diana Johnson. Mr. General, then tell me whether the independent advocate would be able to act for those affected by the contaminated blood scandal and whether the uh, idea of assistance and support, what exactly that means and does it mean a publicly funded lawyer for each family affected? Well, I, think the Honourable, I thank the Honourable Lady for that point. It, of course, depends very much upon how quickly we as a Parliament can pass the necessary legislation. Uh, and it's certainly the intention of the Government that the independent advocate gets on with their work as quickly as possible. With regard to the specific point, I think each case will depend upon its merits. Of course, legal aid is already available for families with regard to certain uh, uh, procedures. But I think the benefit of having a consolidated advocate will be to address the very questions that she asks. And I look forward to th these issues being debated carefully when the necessary legislation is brought forward.